floating is the most complete form of relaxation that your body and your mind can get because it's relieving the body of work that it has to do all the time, which is work against gravity. 80% of your subconscious energy is dealing with gravity. So when you're floating, you're actually relieving your, your brain and your body of having to do work that it's always doing. Your heart is continually pump, pumping up against this force. The little bones in your in your back and your neck are holding your 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 skeletal system up against that. And in the float tank, you're not having to do that. The float tank works because it's eliminating data to the brain. It allows the brain to actually relax because there's no information being put into it. We do and can play music and uh, video in the tank, but it's not something we recommend in the beginning of floating. Flotation is also was known as a sensory deprivation. Um, many years of floating and floaters and float center owners have decided that that sounds like a negative term, but the whole point of taking sense reducing stimuli to the senses is again reducing stress and information that the brain has to process. We are in, inundated this day and age with information all the time. Our phones are on, the TVs are on, the radios are on. There's just constantly something pulling on you. And when you can actually spend a small amount of time repetitively without the stimuli, you are creating an envir a healing environment to your body, not like anything else that you could possibly do.